All right, so I got my bench, my entryway bench in, and then uh, we also got the ottoman in today. And these are actually from a company, a company called Polly and Bark. Uh, I've never heard of this company before. I actually saw an ad on Facebook for them. If you've seen some of my other videos, you did see that uh, the Ruggable ad also got me as well. So obviously I haven't been on Facebook too much buying stuff that I really don't need. But anyway, let's take a look and see what this is all about. Let's see if the quality is good. I think for this particular entryway bench, I paid, I believe it was 500 bucks for it. And... We went with the blue one. They did have a, a cognac color as well, which looked really nice on the on the website. And as you can see here, P Dog is checking it out, doing his own little inspection. Looks like it's passed. So I'm gonna open up the other bit here. It is. It's definitely um, well packaged, as you can see. On the camera, maybe it's uh, the color might look a little dark. But it's definitely blue in person, uh, dark, dark navy. So let's see, maybe you can. No, it definitely looks, it still looks black uh, online, but so let's do the video. So I'm gonna take this out of the box, we'll get this assembled, we'll put it over there, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so it looks like there is some assembly required. Take a look here, and that's pretty much it. It does come with a bunch of screws. I'm not sure why uh, Patrick has decided to just start laying there. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Uh, so that, that's pretty funny. Uh, started sniffing it and apparently that's his new home now as well. Pretty funny little dude. All right, so we got that all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in, but overall so far the build quality of this looks pretty good. This is definitely no Ikea furniture. I'm fairly certain that this piece is uh, made in China though. I did look up um, so, you know, some information about the company. It, does, it definitely does seem like the import from China. Um, but, you know, this is an entryway bench. I wanted something a little bit higher quality. And I definitely think this piece is going to meet that need. So, uh, here are the screws. Allen key screws, of course, they do provide the hardware for you to put this together. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the uh, on the drill, and we'll go ahead and get this piece set up. All right, so here is the ottoman. As you can see, it's uh, well packaged. It does have a little bit of plastic, but the colors, the navy color matches the entryway bench. So I'm going to take this out and get this set up. All right, so I finally got the ottoman set up. Didn't take too long. These screws, or the um, the feet on these ones actually just screw right in, which is really nice. Um, if you're looking at this thinking that this has some storage, it does not. But the leather is nice and soft. It matches the exact same color as the entryway bench. Um, I think it's a good size for the space. I'm gonna have to play around um, you know, with the uh, the positioning you know, of this um, a little bit, just to make sure that it doesn't look too awkward. But um, I think the navy color is pretty spot on. I'm fairly certain over time this color is going to fade and it's going to, it's going to get a little bit lighter, and uh, it should also develop a really nice patina. And then the front entryway bench also looks good as well. You can see it's got the walnut finish. Um, it is relatively soft to sit on. Obviously over time it'll get a little bit softer as more and more people sit on it. And again, I think um, this is uh, the color will get lighter, uh, especially with lights. You know, over time um, it'll start to break down the dyes and uh, should look really good. All right, so overall I think I'm pretty impressed with the Poly and Bark um, products that I bought. I think the Ottoman was... $5.99 and then the entryway bench was $4.99 and then I got a discount of like 75 bucks so a little over a thousand dollars with tax and everything um, but I think these are definitely two pieces that are going to last a pretty long time 
they're not IKEA furniture, so um, they should be holding up pretty well uh, over the next few years. Anyway, I appreciate you watching my video. See you. Take care.